first kind of main thing that I wanted to cover that a lot of people um, have asked me is they go to department stores and they'll come across perfumes that will be labeled as it says EDT and then somebody's asked me this one says parfum so what does that all mean I thought we should kind of go through the levels of it the first one um, that I ever had experience with my mum went to like uh, I think probably chemist warehouse and bought me something when I was really young it was this one here thinking that it was a perfume or maybe they used the term aftershave um, interchangeably with perfumes. Right. So, I mean, do, do you use aftershave? Uh, aftershaves was something I did enjoy using years and years ago. Yeah. Um, can I yeah. say that I don't like using them? Same, okay. yeah, yeah. Same I don't like well. using them because yeah. it'll blow your nose. Uh, yeah. Not as in blow your nose, uh, it, it'll just, it'll throw off the scent. If you're yeah. putting on a perfume, you won't be able to smell anything. Yeah. Um, so anything on your face, yeah. I, it has to be very, very, very soft in, mm. in the fragrance. Otherwise, you're gonna throw your your uh, your nose out. And I'm sorry if I someone's like curse you. <laughs> but that's just this is my opinion. Yeah. I would buy a balm with a very soft scent. I, I wouldn't recommend an yeah. aftershave. Generally, how these um, are distinguished are their levels of concentration. Right. Perfumes are made from fragrance, the oils, the essential oils, but also a mixture of water and alcohol. Right. So obviously, the more oil concentration a perfume has, the more potent. The next one we have is an eau de toilette. Do you know where the name comes from? No, I don't. So uh, eau de toilette, or you might see some bottles labeled as EDT, it comes from back in the day, um, there was uh, people would use, uh, not perfumes, but it came from the term, the word uh, toile, which is like a, a cloth right. that in the olden days, people would kind of put um, scents onto the cloth and then wipe and then wipe right and that's how they get the scent on their awesome. body awesome. so that's where the eau de toilette comes from there you go this generally an eau de toilette uh, I don't know about you but I get usually about maybe two to three hours yeah right yeah, yeah. No, not a lot yeah the, well I think the oil concentration on those are normally what 10% something yeah like? yeah you might be better off paying a little bit more yeah. for this here is an eau de parfum right um, and it I think more niche brands sell it. You're paying a little bit more, but the longevity that you get on Odeba Farms. And I find that there are some houses that will put up to 25% yep. when it comes to their, their oils in there. Yep. Uh, but they'll, they'll range between 15 to that 25, which means that this the fragrance is really, yeah. you know, it really pops. Yeah, yeah. like when I wear Odeba Farms, which is what 99% of the time I'll be wearing an Odeba Parfum, I get up to about 10 hours. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. So you spray in the morning before you go to work, before you go out, and you're set for the whole day. And you're doing less spray. So uh, if you're used to a, a toilet, then you know, you sort of, you know, you're knocking yourself out with it. Mm. Um, but with the parfum, you're going to find that, yeah. well, for me, three sprays, and yeah. I'm more than that, four sprays if I'm being ridiculous. Yeah. 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 Um, and the last one, the last one that you might come across with more luxury niche brands is an extract or an extract. Um, this is an extract de parfum, which I think most brands probably put just over about 35%. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It is a high concentration. Pretty, pretty intense. Yeah. yeah. And have you ever worn? I haven't, you know. Yeah. It's more or less very close mm. to um, an eau de parfum. You probably get maybe, or some of them, I get like 24 hours. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Really, really strong. Yeah. The oil concentration is very high. Right. Um, but again, with that, the price can be very high. Right. Yeah. But, it, but again, it's all relative. You, you wouldn't use as much as you would with these other ones. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And then the longevity yeah. on it and the, the performance on it is, is yeah. spectacular. There is an eau de cologne, which you guys might come across. Personally, I've never had an eau de cologne in my own personal um, collection. I've got a few of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know where the name comes from? I do, but it's your yeah, no, tell me. No, 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 no. I want to know. You tell me. Oh, you didn't tell me the story. No, you tell me. <laughs> well, it comes from a gentleman, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a gentleman who I think was an Italian gentleman who moved to Germany and he I think just missed a lot of the what like scents or aromas of his hometown right. and in Cologne Germany is where he created this eau de Cologne right, right. correct yeah. yeah well that's what I've read too yeah I've read yeah. the same thing and it's called a Cologne because it was made in Cologne um, yeah. uh, but it's very citrusy it's very uh, effervescent it yeah. brings you in so generally when you go into store and looking at buying a fragrance these are a couple of points that I thought we should bring up for you guys to consider. Um, yes, you'll be looking at some bottles that are perhaps one or two hundred dollars more. 
than other bottles, but consider that you will only be spraying it two or three times. Right. And the other bottles, perhaps you have, you'll need five or six sprays, perhaps even uh, spraying it again in the evening. So yeah, and, uh, thank you to my brother, Marcelo. Yep. Thanks for coming, bro. Thanks guys, see ya.